Welcome to Cindy Certified Recipes. In response to my artisanal butter board, I'm going to show you how I rolled my butter logs. So please like and subscribe everybody and let's start rolling that butter. So to make your butter log, you're going to want to have some softened butter. Uh, this could be just plain butter uh, like I did or you can make it a compound butter with any types of seasonings that you like. And you're going to want to have a sheet of parchment paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to start out uh, putting some lumps of butter in the middle of the parchment paper and trying to keep them fairly close together. And you can make your logs bigger or smaller depending uh, on uh, what you're looking to do. And then what I like to do is kind of squish it together before I start rolling it up. Make a bit of a log shape. And then I just take the parchment paper and roll it over like this. And then kind of shape it with my hand a bit and press from behind make a seam there. And then I use just a flat uh, cookie sheet and you put it behind the butter. You keep good pressure on it. And then you're gonna, the bottom sheet here, the parchment, you're gonna pull that as you keep pressure behind the log. And that way it'll roll and spread out as you see. And you keep rolling it till you get this shape and the length you want. And then when it's the way you like it, you just roll it up the rest of the way. Like so. And you can put this in a, I use a two gallon Ziploc bag. And you can put it in just like that, or you can get little pieces of tape to secure it. Which I personally prefer the tape. And then put it in your Ziploc bag. And then place that either in the freezer or the refrigerator until it's uh, nice and hard. And we'll show you what that looks like when we get back. So here's our butter log that's been in the freezer about an hour. And uh, take that out of the bag here. Unroll it. And there is your butter log. And that's ready. What I did for my video, my previous video, was I would lay these on my board and then I let them get soft uh, and then I made my butter flow. But you could also, if you weren't used doing this for, a, uh, for the butter board, you can now cut this into coins as they call it, and especially if it was compound butter and put a pad on some chicken or a steak or anything, but it's all set and ready to go. And there is your butter log. I hope this video proves helpful showing you how to make butter logs. We'll leave a link below to my artisanal butter board video that shows you how I use those logs. And remember, if it's time tested, top notch ingredients, and talk of the table, it's Cindy certified.